I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to start weighing up all the pros and cons of every software. Oh, this has this feature. And I'm going to tell you what I've used in my last three years. That I've been editing videos. So for context, I've been working with some of the larger names in the YouTube space. Honestly, I used to say the largest channels in the world, but it is like the largest channels in the world. I used to say some of, but it genuinely is the largest channels now. And a question I get so often is which editing software to use. So I'm here to tell you now, Premiere Pro is the way you want to go. A lot of you will already be using Premiere but I still want you to watch this video the reason being you will have those thoughts later on in your career where you're thinking should I use this software oh I heard After Effects has this thing oh DaVinci is getting a bit popular you're gonna have those thoughts so I just want to make this video to almost to my younger self who was considering switching to After Effects because I genuinely think if I made that switch earlier I would have been nowhere near where I am today and just seeing how many editors fall into this trap genuinely it fucking hurts so let's get started boys so it's at this point that if this was any other video if it was any other which software to use i'd start listing out okay it has these subtitles and these keyframes and it's like you would want me to say that but if i'm being honest almost every single software has the capability for you to become a good editor on it like if i really wanted to i know that if i was to start from day one and i literally didn't have a pc i didn't have a laptop like my laptop that i did start on was shit but let's say i didn't even have a shit laptop i know that if i even started on a cap cut i could make an editing career so the software that you use isn't important the reason i recommend premiere is more because of the community and literally the sheer number of people that use it. I promise you that I haven't seen like the actual statistics and shit but honestly like you can probably realize this as well like every single big editor the largest ones that are making the most money and especially the ones that are like kind of younger as well so in your position my position they all used Premiere when they were starting and they're still using it now for the clients that they have and the advantage that gives you like coming new into the space if you are just starting out or you're just about to start Premiere or you're already on Premiere the reason it's so good for you you have so many people to learn from when i run into a bug for premiere i know that if i just google it like most people are so retarded right most people don't even google their problems but if i just googled a bug that came up on premiere i know that i'm gonna find an answer for it i've talked to people who edit on davinci edit on sony vegas even like after effects somewhat they run into a bug i tell them to google it they can't find it so i'm thinking like oh they're probably just not searching well enough let me search it up myself there's just not as many like forums and people helping each other in other softwares as there is premiere like you can imagine right like imagine how much more progress you would make when you know that whenever you're facing problems in your editing career when you're struggling with this one effect struggling with these things you know there are hundreds of thousands no probably millions of people that are willing to help you and they have gone through it themselves not only that but but just by the game of numbers because of how many people there are there's so many more resources for you like honestly like this isn't a shill or anything but like i have my editing pack so many other people that made editing packs they made it for like so many many different like softwares they're like oh i'll make it for premiere i'll make it for vegas i'll make it for after effects bro my editing pack is only for premiere this is a separate topic on its own but i believe that if i'm gonna make an amazing product or an amazing service or an amazing thing i know i need to put all my effort in it the same way that i tell you if you want to make it in video editing focus on video editing don't worry about graphic design and drop shipping on the side if you want to make a shit ton of money from video editing be a video editor and make that your focus so like for me it was i made my pack only for premiere because I want to put my heart and soul into a software which I did I spent three four years learning it became one of the best at it and then when I released a pack this is my area of expertise so I'm gonna give my people the best thing that I can give and this isn't me like selling or anything genuinely just came up in topic but you have so many better resources for Premiere just because of how many more people there are like really and truly think about the editing packs not even just mine like just think about editing packs in general editing packs project files all these things when was the last time that you saw a genuinely good like project file that was for sale on DaVinci? When was the last time you saw a genuinely good project file that was completely on After Effects? You probably didn't and honestly if you did it's for those like anime edits of them um, like you with those musics and like the anime edits pretty much. For them fair enough they make like After Effects edits and they sell the project files for that give resources for that but for you who's trying to make a shit ton of money from editing you're not going to do it with anime edits you're going to be doing it through YouTube videos through editing for like streamers editing for large YouTubers editing for like people that actually want videos and when you're able to go on your own journey so as a video editor you're going to be learning your own things but you're able to leverage what other people learn as well that's when you turn into a fucking machine and you make more progress than you even thought was possible and i know you're going to have these thoughts which i see a lot of editors have which is i need to move to after effects in order to like unlock my potential to like raise the bar
Navia that I can reach. If I want to make crazy edits, oh, I need to use After Effects. I have to use this thing. But I just want to challenge you for a second. And what I'm going to say is going to sound a bit weird. But if you trust what I've done, if you see what I've done and you want to emulate it a bit, just take a moment to question that belief. Because I want you to realize that you're saying that you need to unlock your potential. You need to go on After Effects to make better edits. But you haven't reached the potential of Premiere yet. It's like, I promise you, I have people that look at my editing that see my work and 99% of even After Effects editors can't even do the same thing as me. Because in most of our heads, including mine, sometimes I fall into this trap as well. We have this like thought process in our head which puts Premiere here and then if once you've mastered that you go into After Effects. You need to realize these are two completely separate platforms on their own. It's not that you want to create complex edits and you want to work with big YouTubers and you want to make a lot of money with editing which isn't a problem at all. Like honestly I applaud you for it. I think wanting to make a shit ton of money is an amazing thing. But you're seeing After Effects as the sole reason that you're gonna get there. So let's say you do switch, you do fall into the trap where you're listening to everyone telling you to go to After Effects, everyone else is saying oh I'm gonna switch to After Effects so you start getting that into your mind as well. Let's say you switch. So now you switched into an entirely new software, right? First of all you don't get all the benefits of before of like the community, how large the community is and like the resources of it. But second of all you are quite literally starting from zero again. It's not like you carry over all your knowledge from Premiere or all your knowledge from DaVinci, whatever you're starting on. It's not like you start with all that knowledge you are learning something completely new and the reason i'm scared for you isn't the fact that you're going to start because obviously after like a year or two years three years you're going to get good at it again it's the fact that you're never going to achieve what you wanted to achieve by doing it in the first place you're going to move over to after effects you're going to get really good at it your animations are genuinely going to be quite good i mean if you're practicing for years you're going to be quite good but then you realize that it didn't even benefit your editing career you're going to realize that sure it was nice to learn about rotoscoping learning about like these subtitle animations some of them are quite nice like don't get me wrong i still use after effects for small things like that but you're going to realize that having it as the main software did not serve you in any way with becoming like someone that edits youtube videos so then what you're going to do is you're going to say okay i'm really good at after effects let me balance it with premiere as well let me learn both softwares and become really good at that but remember that thing that i said before the way you get good at any one thing or you make one thing perfect is by literally getting rid of everything else because if you want to make a lot of money in anything honestly like there's money in every industry it's not about like which niche which like career path or like whatever like business you want to start what you choose isn't important all that matters is that you become like the very top in that area like i know that literally i could get into anything and i would make a shit ton from it i know that if i got into trading i know i'd make a shit ton from it if i got into editing i know i'd make a shit ton from it and that's what you're seeing now i know that if i started fucking drop shipping and everything i know i'd make a lot of money from it but notice how i've only chosen one of these things and you see the like i wouldn't say success i don't like the word success because i feel like i'm still too young to use it but i would say i've achieved a decent amount for my age like i've had multiple 10k months i've done a lot more than most people do in their adulthood i'm working with guys that literally people around me watch and i'm the guy that's getting paid to make those videos when i'm in a conversation and sometimes a topic of work comes up i kind of like tell them like not like me saying it out loud but in a conversation if you're talking to someone for a few hours it comes out and i'll say like oh yeah i know like the sideman's manager yeah i've spoken to those guys that pay as well i've spoken to this guy's manager and it's like oh shit like i have connections like these that most people couldn't even imagine and it's like i wouldn't have been able to do that if i had my attention split off in drop shipping split off to agency split off to like you know what i mean like putting your attention everywhere rarely serves you so by you saying that you're going to become really good at premiere and you're also going to be like oh top one percent on after effects as well you're going to be the best at both is that really going to happen because to go from like really shit to like decent honestly it's not that hard by just putting a bit of effort in anything you can become good at it if you want to get good at football like by putting in like a couple days a week you'd be really good at it to get good at like conversation skills all you need to do really is like put some effort in if you want to get like your health in check realistically if your health is really shit you just need to go like gym a couple times a week eat a little bit healthier and you'll be better than most people but that second jump of going from like decent to like world fucking class the best that's an entirely different game to go from someone that's like not an editor so let's say like a random person who doesn't have any editing skills and they want to get into it for him to go from zero editing skills at all literally like can't even fucking import on Premiere for him to go from there to learning like how to do like decently complex stuff or the stuff popping in it looks quite good it's actually quite easy let's be honest like, it takes him a few weeks a few months to get like decent at premiere but for him to go from decent to one of the best which remember being one of the best is always where the big money is that's where you gotta actually put a lot more effort in than you think
And it doesn't matter which area of life that you're looking at. If you want to become the best at it, it takes a lot more effort than just getting decent, right? Like for you to get decent at basketball, let's be honest, we, I think we both have like a fundamental understanding of this where if me or you got into basketball today, like we started thinking like we woke up one morning, we're like, fuck it, I want to be good at basketball. Like we know that if we started training a couple of days a week, like four days a week, we'd go to a park with our basketball, we'd watch some videos on the side, we'd watch some guides. We'd get pretty good at it. We'd be better than like most random people on the street. Like you'd be good at basketball but then to go into the next stage where it's like you're going into competitions you're playing for your school things like that it takes a lot more effort right like it's not as easy as going from zero to one but then think about how big the jump is to go from let's say like college level so that you're playing for your school and stuff to the nba objectively the skill difference isn't that large but those like small like intricacies those small things that you have to learn oh don't move your body this way move it slightly to the right and then you'll be able to shoot it better it's like those are the things that take years to learn because i'm gonna be real bro like if you're watching me i'm not gonna sugarcoat shit i'm not gonna tell you that oh you just need this one ai tool and this one trick and you make 10k a month like you can make a fuck ton of money from editing what i'm telling you isn't that you shouldn't have these goals because honestly like i've done it i've helped other editors do it it's fucking possible but i don't want to tell you like just for views honestly i think a lot of editing creators do it for views where it's like oh here's a quick tip and it's like don't get me wrong there are tips that you use to get good at editing and then you make a shit ton of money from it but you need to be good at editing with everything i teach i've told myself from the beginning when i started this channel and when i started teaching as well like in general i refuse to teach you something that sounds good but i know doesn't work and i'm telling you now that if you want to make a lot of money from editing you need to be good at editing just think about how insane that sounds like it this sounds like a fucking like entire paradigm shift like i'm saying something revolutionary but to make a lot of money from editing yeah you gotta be good at editing and whether you decide to use that all the time so like for me right now i have a few clients where i'm charging like i think 1500 for the videos they aren't crazily edited these are honestly videos that i used to charge 200 bucks for so i'm not making complex edit i'm still making the, like crazy money from it even like for my age a lot of people think like i'm fucking out of touch bro i understand this is a lot of money for me as well i'm still getting used to making like a couple of k a video it's like it's still crazy to me knowing that i started from editing fortnite videos like let's say you do want to charge two three four hundred for a simple ass video the way you get there is by having the capability to do like the more advanced and like the complex animations the smooth animations and then choosing to edit more lightly on certain videos i can get away with charging over a thousand dollars well a thousand pounds so maybe i think that's 1.15 1.2k usd i can charge that for a reaction video a fucking reaction video where it's like there's a video just playing there's a camera here and i put a line in the middle and i do a few effects here and there meanwhile there's another editor out there and honestly like there's probably a few watching this now you couldn't even charge a hundred bucks for it the exact same editing he is capable of doing the same effects as me if he edits the video he could replicate it one frame for one frame like it could be exactly the same yeah i'm making 10 times more money money than him the reason being creators when they're looking for an editor they might be looking for a simpler style they might be looking for like a simple edit but they still want someone and they trust someone who is able to do more so it's like let's say you wanted help with like a maths homework or you were struggling with this one maths question right would you rather get help from like some random person in your class so it's like they're literally learning it with you but they're trying to teach you or would you rather get help from your teacher your maths teacher who not only understands this concept but he understands 10 other concepts even a higher level than this which one would you feel like more safe and like you would trust a lot more to teach you it would be the math teacher right the one that's learned a lot more and in the same way with editors like when a creator is looking for you as an editor he is looking for someone who has a lot more skills and if he wanted to he could do it less like i can make crazy animations and stuff but for a lot of my client work i'm doing simpler videos and that's cool i still get paid a fuck ton for it so it's like for those retards that say oh i need to go into after effects to unlock my potential i need to create complex animations you can't create it in premiere therefore you go into after effects and not only do you not be able to make it but you're going to be shit there as well so then when he does that he switches and he has such a short attention span so like he goes there and can't do it and then he switches back and goes to another software and it's like you keep switching and that's the exact reason why you can't find the right software the reason you can't find the right software isn't because you haven't found it yet there's literally only like two three big ones that you could choose from the reason you're shit is because you're looking for the right software like what you've got is essentially your career is a rocket ship right so you're getting better at editing you go higher and higher you're stopping midway and then trying to fire off again you're taking off you're taking off you're getting good at this software and you're like fuck i want to switch let me turn my engine off for a bit and then you want to turn it back on that's not how it works if you just turn it on while you're falling down it won't just fucking fly back up right every single time they switch software what's happening is that they're literally stopping a rocket mid-air and they're wondering why they'll never reach the moon trust me when i say when you stick to premiere when you actually stay with one software and you get 
get those exponential growths, you will make more progress in your editing career than every single one of those dumbasses recommending you to go into another software. You know, you're listening to all these guys, like these um, people making threads and stuff, right? It's always Twitter threads that say like, oh, you need to move to After Effects. And this guy like ranting on Twitter about, oh, I, if you don't use After Effects, you're handicapping yourself. Like, bro, you literally are posting tips about editing, but bro, you don't even have the clients to back it up. So whatever you're doing, clearly it hasn't fucking worked. So why would I listen to you? But you watching this, you need to realize you are listening to these people. You're seeing a thread from a guy who has no clients, who's struggling in editing. He's telling you to go on After Effects and your dumbass listened. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? So I'm telling you now, as you go on your editing journey, you're going to have thoughts of switching. People are going to tell you to switch. Please do not listen to them. These people don't have what you want. There's a broke kid telling you that you need After Effects to make money. He's not making money in editing himself. Please don't fall into the trap of actually listening to these people. This isn't me demonizing After Effects. I use After Effects for rotoscoping. I'll use it here and there for a timer. But I do all my animations in Premiere and you can see the work that I've done. Like I need you to realize I gain nothing by are you going on to Premiere? I don't have like a fucking affiliate code in the link. By the way, if you go through this link, you get 20% off. It's like, I don't have any of that shit. I'm telling you now, if you've even had the thought of being on Premiere, make that switch now. The people that you surround yourself with, even if you want to learn from me, if you want to go through like the exact journey as me, if you want to just fucking look at what I've done and copy it exactly, that's one reason you should be with us. But another reason you'd be on Premiere is like, there's so many more resources in the community around you. That is what's going to determine whether you make it as an editor. So if you know deep down, you're going to make that switch sooner or later if you know you're gonna get into premiere trust me do it now literally from today make the fucking switch and if you're already editing on premiere stay on it and it's like i know there's gonna be one guy that has this thought of like oh but i already know this one software i already know davinci but trust me when i say long term this is gonna be so much better for you you're thinking way too short term if you say that oh i already know the software why well, i don't want to switch you need to realize that this small portion of your life these last few months this year that you've learned davinci is fucking minuscule compared to your entire career like literally you're not even even making the money anyway so it's like okay you're making a bit you're an odd client here you're still doing fucking free trials and everything you haven't done much on this software you switching sure you lose that tiny bit of experience but you'll get it back you'll get like the fucking noob gains of premiere pro and i know this concept of like money and how like can i afford premiere and stuff i understand that's a concept and it's something that's going to be in some of your heads honestly for the majority of my career i fucking cracked it for legal reasons i am lying but boys i hypothetically cracked it in my career and it's like okay i don't give a shit but it's like honestly it fucking runs better i don't have to pay for it like right now i pay for a membership i literally have an adobe subscription and i use their cracked software instead it fucking runs better so if you can't afford it do whatever you want you're a free man i highly recommend you do not crack software please do not crack software as it can put malicious software onto your device some ways of <laughs> preventing this malicious software is using an ad blocker called ublock origin on safari i recommend not cracking but that is one of the things that many crackers use in order to avoid viruses okay but real talk like if you are going to make the switch make the switch to premiere now i just wanted to make this video because i get a lot of people asking me and um subscribe like video i post a lot more shit like this if you like editing stuff um if you want to make a fuck ton of money from editing oh yeah we have the discord down below you can join that meet other editors jump in the calls and stuff just share your work and um yeah take care bro peace